Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I have some somewhat exciting news. I say somewhat exciting because although I'm very excited about this, I'm very hesitant to go forward. But I am going forward. I trust that we will find a way to make this work for everyone, especially for me, because I'm the one that you need to worry about. <laughs> I started a Facebook group for peanut gallery members. All peanut gallery members. You don't have to be a content creator. You don't even necessarily have to be subscribed to my channel because I'm not going to check. Here are the good things about this and it's the main reason I went forward with having a group. First of all, before I even talk about that, there are different ways you can be on Facebook. There's your personal profile, and I have like friended so many of you that way. There are Facebook pages. I've had a page for a very long time. The only thing about pages is that if you post to someone's page, it's used for like business purposes. Your posts get hidden on the side, and nobody really sees that, including me, unless I purposely remember to go look. With a group, if you post, you will be visible to all the peanut gallery members who are in the group. It stands out. So the main reason I'm going forward with this group is because so many of you share your images with me of the things that you make using the tutorials in my videos, especially the quilting stuff. I feel so bad when I get all these images and they're not shared with other peanut gallery members. I always have the idea of I'll save images and do like a video showing all the images, but I never get around to that. The other thing is that I want an easier way to let you guys know what is going on. Yes, I do a daily chat on my blog at darlingmishu.com. I don't know how many of you actually go to my blog. I sometimes post on my Facebook page if I have something I want to let people know. But my Facebook page has other members not just people who are in the peanut gallery. I have a lot of people there from my couponing days who really don't care much about my videos. So it's not really a good place for me to, you know, say things like last night. Last night I posted on my page that there would be no video. I would have much rather had a group, a group that is all people who are peanut gallery members. If I could have posted that in the group, then I know only those who care about that are going to get that information and not people who are hanging out with me because I once upon a time was an extreme couponer. So that's why the group has been born. The reason I'm hesitant is because you guys know me. I don't like anything about social media. <laughs> I just don't. I'm not a social butterfly. And that holds true in the internet world. But what I'm hoping is that in a group, you know, if somebody wants to chat about something, you guys can talk to each other. It doesn't have to be me in control of that. With that said, I do have some rules. Ran out of battery. Now we have camera number two. The rules are pretty basic, but I'm going to stress that I will have zero tolerance for rule breakers because I just don't have time for that. I don't have the energy for that. I don't have the mentality to deal with that. The first rule is you've got to read the rules so you know what's going on in the group. If somebody breaks a rule and says, oh, I didn't know, that's the number one reason that you're out of the group. You need to read the rules of all Facebook groups. Almost all of them have rules. Read the rules. Educate yourself as to what you can or cannot do. So I'm going to go over the rules quickly. Here are the things I want you to do. Share your images, especially of the crafts and quilts. I don't mind if you share images of your family or if you're on vacation or you snap a picture of a restaurant that you're at and you want to show me the meat you're eating. <laughs> you can show me vegetables too. I'm not anti-vegetable. <laughs> Just do have some common sense and don't fill the feed with, you know, 30 pictures of your child in her dance recital. I know it's cute, but we don't want to see 30 pictures of that. And I, I can promise you we don't. <laughs> but 
please do share your craft images. Everybody will like that. Well, at least the other crafters. And I know I have a lot of peanut gallery members who are not into the whole crafty thing. Hey, they don't have to join the group. Whatever. Get to know each other. There are so many of you who I think would just be friends. I just love the peanut gallery. I want you guys to be able to love each other too. Or at least enjoy each other's company. Do watch for special threads. I might have threads like where I specifically want you to ask me questions for a future video. Or I might say, if you are a content creator, post your video here. I'd like to do that like at least on a weekly basis. Just different things. So watch for those kind of posts. Do ask me questions, but do remember that I'm going to be very busy. I will not be able to be watching this group around the clock. But if you ask a question and nobody helps you with an answer, I may use the question in a future Q&A video. Do help other members. If somebody asks a question and you know the answer, go ahead and tell them. Have a sense of humor. You're going to need a sense of humor in this group because I have a potty mouth and I have some ideas about life that other people are not like genuinely fond of and it's hard to get that across in typing. It's one thing if you can watch me talking about something. If you ever find me offensive, you can just leave the group. You don't have to announce your departure. Nobody needs to know that you're going. You can just go. If you see posts that break the rules, you are free to report the post. There's a feature somewhere in the group that you can report a post, and that's all you need to do. Do expect these rules to change as needed. If I change the rules and I feel it's important that you guys know about that, I will post and say I've changed the rules, so please go read them again. Okay, here are the things I don't want you to do. I don't want you in the group if you're under 18. I don't want to be filtering myself. It doesn't mean that I'm going to be like a late night comedy show where I'm going to spew filth all the time. That's not what I plan on doing. But I just don't need underage people in here. Obviously, there's going to be some that get in. If I find out someone is underage, then I will just remove them from the group. Do not contact me or any other members of this group via private message unless you know you have their permission. Obviously, if you are friends with somebody in real life and you already private message each other, you can continue to private message that person. If you want to have a conversation with someone outside of the group, someone that you don't normally private message or email or anything like that, you need to ask them for their permission right here in the group and say, do you mind if I PM you? If they say yes, then feel free. If they say no, don't even go near that. If anybody reports to me that someone contacted them without their permission, you will be out. People just don't want their private messages to be filled with spam or messages from complete strangers. So just don't go there. I'm not going to let people post links. This, this is the easiest way that I can control spam. So no links. If you're a content creator, you're not going to be posting your videos here in this group unless I have a special thread for that, and I will. Don't post to anybody's videos. Don't post to anybody's vlogs. Don't post links to hurricanes. You know, just no links. Anybody who posts a link will be removed from the group. I'm not going to study it and find out if it's spam or not. You're just going to be out of there. Don't start drama. I think that's pretty obvious, and that's probably a rule in every group. Very hard to stop that, but I'm just saying, just don't do it. When we have videos in the group, do not criticize any videos. Not even constructive criticism is welcome. <laughs> because it's just too hard to make it come across in a good way. I keep running out of battery. I have another group, Mixed Nuts, and that group is for people who create videos. I will at times be letting you know, hey, there's a bunch of videos over there. Go check them out. You won't be able to comment there, but if you come back to this group and pick on people for their videos or whatever, that's not going to fly with me, not for one second. I am very, very protective of anyone who creates videos. I don't care if they upload pure trash. I'm protective of that. I admire anyone's attempt at it. You know, it's a hard thing to do. So you just need to be kind. If you don't have anything nice to say, you know, the old saying, just go to hell. <laughs> 
Just don't say anything at all. And also do not be the group police. I've had groups before where people just want to report every little thing to me. I don't want to know about it. And again, please don't private message me. If you really feel that I need to know something or you have a great big concern, you can email me at peanutgallery at darlingmishu.com. That's probably the best way to contact me where I will actually see that you contacted me. But I'm telling you, I just don't want emails over every little thing. Obviously, there are times where you would need to contact me, like if somebody private messages you and you didn't appreciate that, you didn't give them permission, you didn't want to hear from them, you can email me and let me know. Let me know the person's name, and I will remove them from the group. Let's just stop with that for now. It sounds like such a downer. Pretty much put it this way. Have some common sense. Have fun, but like be chill about it. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I think this will be a good place for all of us. I'm hoping it is. I really want a place where I can connect with you guys and let you guys know what is going on so that when there are days that I don't upload, I can let you know that so people aren't waiting for a video, things like that. I'm going to stop now. I'm trying so hard to stop. <laughs> I will have a link for the new Peanut Gallery group down below in the description box and also in the pinned comment. Go ahead and join and I will let you in. I will be very excited to see you there. So please do join and let's have fun. Let's make this work. I want it to work. If it doesn't, I have no problem just deleting the group. And I have been known to do such things. So let's just try to keep this a nice, pleasant place. I want it to be a good place for you guys, for all of you guys. But I also have to be relaxed about it. And if I find that it's going to make my blood pressure go up, we're just not going to be able to continue. So it's not a threat. It's just a fact. I just want to let you guys know that. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.